Tom lay upon a sofa with an eager auditory about him and told the history of the wonderful adventure, putting in many striking additions to adorn it with all, and closed with a description of how he left Becky and went on an exploring expedition, how he followed two avenues as far as his kite line would reach, how he followed a third to the fullest stretch of the kite line and was about to turn back when he glimpsed a far-off speck that looked like daylight dropped the line and groped toward it, pushed his head and shoulders through a small hole and saw the broad Mississippi rolling by. And if it had only happened to be night, he would not have seen that speck of daylight and would not have explored that passage any more. He told how he went back to Becky and broke the good news, and she told him not to fret her with such stuff, for she was tired and knew she was going to die and wanted to. He described how he labored with her and convinced her, and how she almost died for joy when she had groped to where she actually saw the blue speck of daylight, how he pushed his way out at the hole and then helped her out, how they sat there and cried for gladness, how some men came along in a skiff and Tom hailed them and told them their situation and their famished condition.' 